On the last episode of Three Bros Check Out Orange, we checked out our route to see if it would work for Shannon's run. And in this episode, we go to the police to see if it will work. And also, we check out the Stark Museum. What's going on, guys? So today, we're heading back to Orange to finalize our race route for Shannon's run 5K, 10K on May 14th. We all have it signed up. Signed up down in the description down below. But we're gonna see which route is the most viable for our race just to uh, try to keep costs down because they did tell us that if we have a route that is not cutting major streets or not going through major streets on both sides that it'll be a little bit cheaper. So we're gonna see what we can do. And we also talked to a lot of other race directors and they said that for the price that we were given last time is about what they're paying over in Houston. So we'll see what they tell us after we give them these routes. I actually uh, made four other routes for them to look at and hopefully one of those will be cheaper than $5,000 because uh, that's a big portion and that's a big chunk of our race. And then not even including shirts, medals, and all that so uh, right off the bat we have to hit a certain number of people uh, to make this race you know even break even so uh, later on in another video not this one we'll tell you the price breakdown of what it costs to throw a 5k 10k we'll give you all the numbers so that y'all can see the real cost uh, you know even myself I ran 200 300 plus races I didn't know how expensive this was gonna be so kudos to a lot of those race directors out there that throw out races because this is almost a gamble because we don't know how many runners are gonna come to our race we don't know if we're going to even break even so this is all part of it and hope you guys are enjoying this this part that we're showing because a lot of people don't know about this and this is why we're making this video so more race directors can start making races not just us and also so that racers like you and me can find out how much it costs to throw a race so uh, right now we're heading to orange to talk with the police chief once again talk with the police about our route. Madness is here. Madness. Y'all thought he was going to be on this episode, but he's here. He had to take another car because we were running late and we usually ride together, but we wanted to be on time. A few moments later. So how'd the meeting go? Went better than the last one, that's for sure. <laughs> that, that went well. It's good to see like when the police uh, chief looked positive instead of gave us like a, oh man, what are you guys getting yourself into? Look, so made me, made me feel a lot more comfortable like what we're doing with this race. But pretty happy. Regardless of what they said, we're gonna make this race happen. So uh, I'm glad to have like their full support. It makes a big difference uh, having those guys in there uh, saying, hey, we wanna work with you and make your race a success. So big, big ups to uh, Orange PD. So yeah, this is our first time to ever go to the Stark Museum. None of us, oh, actually I've been here a long, long time ago, if I remember, it was a, for something. Uh, but it's the first time in a long time for me, and these guys have never been to the Stark Museum. So we're excited to see all that they have. This is basically the Stark's collection, and it's a rotating collection that they have, that they move in and out of here quite frequently. And this will be open 9 a.m on Saturday, so y'all can check it out. The Lutchers moved to Texas from Pennsylvania. The Starks were already here. She married a man named William Stark. Her father was in lumber, and the Starks were also in lumber as well. Their son, Henry Jacob Lutcher Stark, he and his third wife did this. He had been a collector of art since he was a child. Got a little bit of information about the museum. Like I said, they have so much art here. This is like all Western, all right, and it's the largest collection in the United States of Western art. From the work of John James Audubon, famous in the 1800s for painting animals. And that's mostly what he did uh, that I know of. So they even have those little QR codes around the museum. So you can actually do your own tour and see everything's going on. Yeah. yeah. That's impressive. That's very interesting. So this is Remington. He is an artist known for his sculptures. They actually have one in the front, right? Yeah, there's several Remingtons in here, but he also did paintings as well. These are Remington paintings yeah. that he did. Uh, my dad would have loved this, uh, being an old cowboy. Just, he would have loved this. 
Yeah. And can you believe this? This is in Orange City, Texas. This is the really museum here, and like it's these. all for free. Out of the three of us, Mike is the most sophisticated uh, out, of, out of all of us. He, I mean, I, I, I don't know the names of the artists. <laughs> security guard over there was telling me that they do have 51 crystals over there of the states over there including the United States but there's actually 52 wow. of them the 52nd one is Puerto Rico and they thought it's become a state but it wasn't so they don't have that out there it's still up in the vault somewhere so if Puerto Rico ever becomes a state they will put that one out Check out all these crystals over here. I'm sure one of these crystals would pay off for our race, no doubt. <laughs> right? And we'd be pretty well off, so. Yeah. So it's American Brilliant Cut Glass, glass making the process, over 3,500 cut glass. Look at that picture. This is from TG Hawks, J Hor, and HP Sinclair. All right, so this is the Stark Museum over here. You guys can see we're right there, Stark Museum. The Presbyterian Church is right here. Our route will be running right in front of it so you guys will be able to see it. And the start line won't be too far from this as well. So I need to walk this way so you guys see me. But yeah, the Stark Museum was awesome. I thought it was like a great thing to do for free, for especially here in Orange. It was awesome. They even had school kids in there and you really need to come and see this place. It's awesome. It's like something you'd see in Houston. I, I agree with everyone else. If you do our race, you gotta visit the Stark Museum afterwards. The, the type of art they had, the, the value of the art and the everything was like just amazing. And again, everyone is so nice. We met Marty inside of there. He uh, told us a little bit of the history of the Stark Museum and how they acquired everything from the Stark family. So now we're gonna head over back to our buddy, Armand, over in Luigi. All right, made it here to Luigi's Italian restaurant. And uh, we've been here before. This is actually the same exact spot we sat in last time. And we're gonna talk to our men about possibly becoming our host restaurant for the pasta night before our race. So on Friday, if you guys are from Orange or if you're staying in Orange, we might have Luigi's as a spot, but we need to talk to him first, but most likely, but we need to talk to him first. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna get. What, what are you gonna get here, Mike, again? Are you gonna get the same thing? Uh, no, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. They have, the food's good, that's all I can say. Yeah. Come to Luigi's. I'm excited for the bread. That's why I want some bread. All right, so we're back here. We have our men over here, the man, the celebrity, the myth, the legend. <laughs> He's over here chatting with us. So we're trying to chat with him. And he said he, he want. so we're going to be the uh, pasta dinner place yes. here. So he, they, they'll be the official pasta dinner, right? Really? Yeah, official pasta. This is a great place. Like me and Mike were talking about places to eat here in uh, Orange, Texas. And it's interesting. I was like, hey, where was one of your top places you would choose to eat and he said Luigi's and I said Luigi's too so I highly recommend people if you do come to Orange Texas come and check out Luigi's great food great prices good people yeah, good good people. yeah chicken fettuccine hey. what'd you get Mike chicken fettuccine and I give the taste I'm on if it's not good I'm blaming you okay <laughs> no I was sitting with you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'd give him a hug but I don't hug man <laughs> I got the uh, shrimp Diablo. Let's just give the, the, the sauce a taste before I taste the shrimp. This is what our man recommended to me. He said it's spicy, has a bunch of vegetables. Very good. Fresh shrimp. Doesn't taste like fishy or anything. Good shrimp. Definitely get this, especially on a Friday. For Lent, give the shrimp Diablo here at Luigi's. It's Armand and uh, our Luigi's Italian Grill. And we got the best price and area here. Come and visit us. We are here for you. We treat you like family. 
All right, just got a Luigi's Italian Grill with our man. Again, great guy. Every time we talk to him, he inspires us. And it was also almost like, like Kismet or whatever that we met him the first meeting because he was the first owner we get to talk to. We heard his story, he inspired us. And our man just agreed to be one of our sponsors as well. We did not go there expecting him to do anything, but he's such a great guy and he, he really inspired us to keep on going and doing what we're doing. He had a great quote for us and it was, uh, if you don't try, you fail. So we are trying to bring a great race here in Orange and that's what we're gonna do. And hopefully y'all can see all the effort that we're putting because we are going to succeed with putting on great races. This is the first one, Shannon runs 5K, 10K. So right now we're heading over to Granger's to go talk to them. Maybe uh, they'll help support us as well, but you never know until you ask. This is what you gotta do. You gotta go to different businesses and talk to them, talk to the people. We tell them our story, they tell us their story, and it just becomes a conversation. And who knows, who knows what's gonna happen with this, but at least we tried, like our men said. <laughs> Me? What do you do to make do the race? You know, all like the planning. Oh. Yeah, Facebook, YouTube. What? How do I go Facebook? Three bros, three bros, three bros running. Three bros running. running. All right, got to talk to Ralph over at Granger Chevrolet. Really nice guy. Unfortunately, this year they're not able to be a sponsor, but they said maybe in future years they'll be able to help us. But it's always good to make connections. And he is the race director of the Granger Chevrolet 5K, and we got to learn a lot from him as well. So good meeting with him. Good meeting a lot of people from Orange. This is going to be it for this episode, but make sure to sign up for our race. Shannon's run 5K, 10K, May 14th. It's going to be a fun time, great time. We're getting sponsors, getting everything ready. It's coming up close. So be prepared and sign up today. See you guys next one. Three bros out. Yeah.